I want to take you where no art therapist has gone before, bring you into my painting so you can experience what it's like to go from beginning to middle to end and all of the wisdom and growth opportunities that come along with doing an art therapy painting process. I'm Michelle, art therapist, owner of Embodied Art Studio, and for you to really go on this journey with me from beginning to end, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get an alert every time I post a new video. So here's how it starts. You pick a big, meaningful, worthwhile goal that you have for yourself and for your life, and then you pick a big canvas that mirrors the largeness of this thing that you're really wanting to bring into your life. The painting allows you to answer the question, what does this look like for me? I was called this time to do a painting about what success looks like to me. I find that I'm largely driven to succeed as a business owner, but I've never stopped to answer the question, well, what does success really look like to me? which is one reason I love art therapy, is it allows you to get down to the essence of what something really is to you. Mm, I'm so excited to take you on this journey. Let me show you what happened next. Do you know that you've chosen a really good goal for yourself when you have no idea how you're going to create a painting about it? And that's what happened to me. I set my intention. I wanna know what success looks like to me. And then I got stuck right away. And this is one thing that the ladies I work with in my art therapy groups know about me is I am all about challenging myself and challenging the women that I work with. So I'm like, yes, it's supposed to be hard. That is how we grow. That is where transformation comes from is when we ask ourselves to do something that we actually don't know how to do. And the way that I figure out something that I don't know is to really go deep into reflection. I like journaling and taking time to peel back the layers and get down to the essence of what it is that I'm asking. If I could harness my own excitement, I would be so fucking powerful. <sighs> Success looks like me harnessing my power, able to contain it, store it, and not be overwhelmed by it. In the meantime, while I'm doing this sort of heady work around success, what does this look like for me? Something fun was happening. I get my big canvas in the mail and one of them had a hole in it. Rather than sending it back, they just refunded me the money. So I have this big canvas with a hole in it. And I decided why not make art with my daughter, she's two, and my husband and just have fun with it. So we had a great time on the floor with oil pastels and some watercolor. And then Emerald, my daughter, wanted to paint with her feet, which is something that we often do outside. So we brought the canvas out and oh my God, we just started having so much fun. Wow. And none of this had any point other than to have a great time with this broken canvas. However, the next day when I woke up, it was almost like I had this intuition of like, oh, that could be the background for your painting. I made a list of what would be good about that and what wouldn't be good. And one thing that I love about the idea is that it would represent finding success with the background being my family and especially like us having fun together and us creating together. So the pros definitely outweigh the cons and I have decided to go with it and I'm really excited. This is why art therapy can be so magical. I had no intention for our fun making to be the background of my painting. It just happened. And then I'm presented with the opportunity to figure out how success in my life can work with and coexist with and be in balance with my family having quality time together. Ooh, isn't that delicious? And I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. So stay tuned, hit subscribe and the bell so you get an alert for the next video so you can keep going on this journey with me because obviously I'm just getting started. 
If you're interested in trying art therapy for yourself and learning to listen to your soul messages, then take my free email course. I'll show you how a five minute drawing can help you tap into your own deep wisdom. There's a link to this free course in the description below this video.